Hi, I'm Ryan O'Keefe and welcome to another episode of Healthy Eating. Today, we've got a bit of an Asian influence. Some steamed barra with sauteed Asian greens and quinoa, topped off with a nice yogurt dressing. Now, fish is a great source of protein. It's light, it's lean, it doesn't sit there. It's easy to digest rather than heavy red meats and served with some great green veggies, which are good in iron, great minerals, and quinoa. Quinoa is a great superfood, high in protein, action-packed full of vitamins and minerals like zinc and magnesium and it's low GI and it gives you a nice good carbohydrate release and energy release. I'll have this meal the night before a game or a night before a main session. Lean protein, good energy source. Once you eat this, you feel clean and healthy. First of all, we've got the quinoa. As we can see, it's actually a seed, not a grain, and it's great for you. This stuff is action packed and it's actually really good for the digestive system. You cook this just like you cook rice. It's a one to two ratio, half a cup of quinoa, and cook it with one cup of water. We'll bring it up to the boil. Once it starts bubbling away, we'll turn it down to a really low simmer. And once all the liquid's dried, we'll turn it off and let it steam up. While the quinoa's going, let's get our veggies sorted. Now to make, make the base, I'm gonna use a bit of ginger, garlic. If you want, and I love chilies, whack in some chilies. Chilies are great for getting that metabolism up and going. Gives you a good kick, and helps everything get going. And the coriander. I've cut just the stems and the root off, and this stuff is where all the flavour is. So we're gonna whack this in the start when we start sauteing or stir frying in the pan. So just get a good sized bit of ginger. Doesn't have to be too perfect, just get in there. And ginger's great for you too. Ginger is great for your digestion as well and tastes good too. Get the garlic, give it a smash, let's peel it off. Give your garlic a rough chop. Coriander stems and the roots. Give them a fine little chop. And the chilies. Now with the chilies, you either can de-seed them, or if you really want to kick, just leave the seeds in. But me personally, I like a bit of kick with my food. So just chop them up. Okay, there we go. That's our base pretty much for the start of the, the stir fry or the saute of the veggies. So what we'll do, and we'll use some coconut oil. It's got a really high smoking point and it's really good for you too. So whether I, when I'm doing any of frying or shallow frying that, I'll use my coconut oil. This is virgin press, so all it is is pure coconut oil. Okay, we'll get our pan on, get it nice and hot there. Now I'm gonna use some broccoli and bok choy to stir fry through this and we'll finish off a bit of coriander. So one thing when you do when you're cooking, make sure you've got all your stuff, all your prep ready. So when it comes to the cooking process, it's easy and smooth. You don't have to worry about rushing around. Do I have this ingredient? What's this? And then you burn something, you forget something. It's all ready to go. So I can hear the pan, it's ready to go. Let's put our base ingredients in. This first part's still about the flavor. Back on the heat. Just give that a nice cook there for about 30 seconds a minute. You don't want to burn the garlic, it has a real bitter taste. That's cooking away, all right, that's enough. We've got the base going. Let's add our veggies. We've got our broccoli and our bok choy. The good thing about the greens, what you want to do with the greens is, you don't want to overcook them. You still want a bit of crunch in them. So even like slightly raw, it leaves more of their nutrients in it and it's really good. Get our coriander. Okay, that's ready. We'll just add that right at the end. You don't want to add the coriander too early. It'll cook it and be rubbish. Okay, I'm going to use a bit of tamari sauce, which is the traditional method of how they make soy sauce. It's pure soybeans and water. It's organic. A bit of seasoning. Add a bit of lemon in there too. Keep tossing it. Give it a nice little hit. As I said, you don't want to cook it too much. Now what we're going to do, we're going to steam the barramundi. A nice piece of barramundi fillet there. I've used a wok, you can use a bamboo steamer or any sort of steamer. I like steaming my fish, especially the white fish because it's a delicate fish and it keeps it nice and moist and keeps it, it's a much more gentle way of cooking it. Finds it gives it a nice texture, a nice flavour. We'll just put the fish in the steamer. And that shouldn't take too long at all. 
You still don't want to overcook your fish because it really comes dry and bland. While the fish is steaming up, let's get the sauce going. Now simply all I've done is just a few tablespoons of yogurt. It's a good splash of tamari sauce there. Fresh lemon. Squeeze it in there. And then a bit of turmeric, which is a, a spice, which has got sort of got a lemony flavour to it anyway. Just to give it a, just a nice depth of flavour. Let's give that a mix. Might just put a bit of coriander through it as well. That's good. Okay, sauce is done, ready to go. Got our garnish ready. Let's go to see how everything's going. Quinoa, yep, yeah, that's really ready to go. That's steaming away. We're just looking for it to go white, which is opaque at the moment. And once it turns white, you know it's gonna be ready. Our greens. They're ready to go. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna to toss the quinoa through the greens. This should absorb all the flavor through there. Give it its last finish. Let's have a look. Fish is done. Beautiful. Greens are done. Let's get this served. Make a nice little bed here. Get on the plate. Perfect, okay. There's our bed. Let's get our fish over. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Beautifully cooked, nice and white. Bit of our sauce on it. Top with a nice bit of fresh coriander. There we go. Beautiful, healthy, steamed barra with sauteed greens and quinoa. Thanks for joining me and hope to see you next time on Healthy Eating.